Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to 365 Projects. I should probably say welcome back to myself too. It has been a hot minute. Uh, school year started and I kind of got lost in the swing of getting back to normal there. And so now I need to get back to normal on booktube because it has been a while and Brady's not used to me filming anymore. So that's kind of sad. Um, but anyways, I am excited to get back into doing readathons with some of my favorite booktubers. And this first one coming up is Contemporary Thon with Chelsea, Julie, and Natasha. And it starts next week. So I wanted to share the books that I plan on reading this next week with you. It's all contemporary books. So modern day stuff that could really happen type of thing. Um, and it's just a good time. So six of these books, six of the seven, are an audio book. So I think that might set me up for success. As well as two being in a different format than usual, which I'm super excited about. And so let's get into it after I get my dog. Oh, hey, go. Go lay down. Go lay down, bud. We'll go for a W-A-L-K when we're finished. Go. Please, go lay down. Good boy. The first challenge is to pick a book with orange on the cover. And for that, I have finally got my hands or my ears on The Poet X. This one I've wanted to listen to since it came out because I heard that the narrator is the author, which is my favorite kind of narration for an audiobook, and I heard it's just phenomenal. Um, I believe it's about a Hispanic teen and her struggles with not wanting to follow the same faith that her family believes in of Catholicism and um, just the struggles with that. It's only about three hour listen, but I've heard it's nothing but fantastic, all five star reviews type of thing. And so I'm really excited to finally get to read this book. The second challenge is going to be a dark taboo-ish type book, and there were so many options for this, but the Overdrive book for The Last Time I Killed just came through, and this has been on my list since it came out this summer. It is by Riley Sager, I think, who did The Final Girls, which I enjoyed earlier this year. I'm hoping that the character flaw stuff that I didn't like so much gets resolved, this is about a girl who is going kind of back and forth in time, I believe, 15 years ago when she went to a camp with her friends and the four friends walked out the door in the middle of the night and they were never to be seen again. So she was kind of the final girl, which is kind of weird, left in this story, but it's a completely different storyline from what I hear. So I'm excited to get to read this and I'm sure it'll be a quick paced thriller. The third challenge is a diverse book, and once again, this is one that there were so many great choices that I have ready to go, but I think I'm going to go with Symptoms of Being a Human. This is a YA book about a gender-fluid teen, and once again, I've heard nothing but outstanding things. It is a Gateway nominee, which just means it's a book that has been nominated for a YA award in the state of Missouri, and um, the librarians at the high school said that the audiobook of this is absolutely fantastic. Even the narrator... Um, you can't tell the gender of the narrator, so the, once again, that's gender fluidity. And I just heard it's great. I don't know anything about what goes on in the storyline other than that it is about a gender fluid teen, and that is definitely a diverse book. So I cannot wait to start this one very soon. The fourth challenge is a non-traditional format, and this one finally came in. This is the only one I don't have an audiobook. It is illegal. I think it's by Eon Kohler and Andrew Duncan. And this is a graphic novel, so that would be the non-traditional formatting about an illegal immigrant. And they are from Europe, or they're journeying to Europe from Ghana. And it's the story of these brothers as they are traveling um, as immigrants. So this is going to be a hard one to read, I'm sure, but I'm excited for this one too. I mean, I'm excited for all of these. This is Obviously, why else would I be reading them? Anyways, um, the one for number five is initials on the cover, and for that, I'm going to finally, after all this time, get to All American Boys by Jason Reynolds. I love everything he writes, and this one is going to be another one that's hard because it is about social justice and a young teenager being shot by the police officer. And once again, it's an audiobook. It's fairly short, so it'll be quick, but I think it does pack a lot of punch. And so a lot of these are ones that are going to be... A little bit more hard hitting than usual and not as fluffy contemporary as I normally pick but it'll be okay because the next two are a little bit fluffier I think all right so number six is a new to you author and for that 
I'm going to try to pick up the hating game again. I got to ch chapter nine or whatever, and I didn't get to finish it um, in another readathon. So I'm going to try again because this is the first and only book of Sally Thorne's as of right now, and I had not read it yet. It is Chelsea's favorite. Um, it's a hate to love romance as the office romance type of thing. Once again, an audiobook is available of that, so I'm going to give it a try. And the last one is my five star prediction for that. I wanted to fit a middle grade in here, um, and I chose. When Friendship Followed Me Home, here is the cover of that. I do have physical copy. It is at work because it's one of our middle grade award books for the year. Kids keep recommending this one to me as well, and so I just need to get to it, and it's available as audiobook. I don't know much too, too much about it. I do know it's about a boy that's in foster care and a dog. So I'm assuming it's going to be absolutely heartbreaking. Any dog book for teachers doing a read aloud is just a no-no because you know you're going to end up bawling in front of your entire class type of thing. And then the whole foster care thing, that's near and dear to my heart. Um, so I think it might be a tough read, but I'm hoping it's a little fluffy as a middle grade. But we will see. So these are the four books I have right now. Plus, When Friendship Followed Me Home, it's on my desk. And the two others that are just an audiobook for right now, unless I order them, I guess, from the library um, as a hold, which I probably will do that right now as I sign off from here. Um, but those are the books that I'm going to read next week. I am very, very excited. I think it's going to go well just because of all the audio options and the quick, short books for the most part. If not, it is what it is. There's a, plenty of other stuff that I'm still working on now that I want to finish up so I can start this vlog whenever it starts. Because at this point, I'm not even exactly sure what day this starts, but I'm going to go check my calendar I'll leave all the information down below. Please let me know what you plan on reading for the contemporary thon. I really do hope you join in the fun because I love this readathon. I love the ladies that host it and the books are just amazing anyways. So anyways, until next time, I will see you all later. Bye guys.